Okay, so this is going to be a long uh, rant of mine about the uh, election results and what's going on, the current state of affairs in this country and all the stuff I'm seeing online and uh, on social media, which is really, really funny, really, really interesting. So apparently, according to the fake news media, uh, Sleepy Creepy Joe is now president-elect of the United States of America, right? Despite the fact that the media doesn't decide who the president is. You know, we all know that now. And I have some geniuses telling me, oh, well, you know, when Trump won, uh, you know, the media decided that he was elected. Listen, here's the difference between that story. Hillary Clinton conceded the election and there were no outstanding lawsuits. Nothing was in litigation in terms of the vote and in terms of the different states that were being contested, right? That's the, that's the huge difference between the two. This is not 2016. Now, with that said, I'm seeing people talking about how they want unity and now it's the time for us to come together and, and be friends and you know hold hands and sing kum by fucking ya let me tell you something not gonna happen okay you fucking people the mainstream media and you leftists demonized trump and all of his supporters for four years and in my case it's actually five years because I announced that I was voting for Trump since day one. Since day one. I didn't just, uh, you know, jump on the Trump bandwagon, you know, uh, right before the election or anything like that. I decided I was going to vote for Trump immediately. As soon as he announced his presidency, I was on the Trump train. Okay? So I've been dealing with this nonsense for five years. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But now, you know, people are talking about, oh, let's let's be friends and let's let's get along and all this other nonsense and... It's not going to happen. You can't demonize a group of people for that long and call them racists and Nazis and homophobic and then xenophobic and everything you could imagine. Everything you could imagine. And now you want to be friends. Now you want to be friends. Now because your side won, now you want to be friends. Impossible. Impossible. When people say they want peace and let's come together, I'm going to tell you exactly what that means. That means you better get on board with the way that we think and shut up toe the line that's it we want you to think one way there's only one opinion and that's the end of it that's where we're at when it comes to that so all this talk about peace and coming together and unity garbage bullshit not gonna happen you know you actually do prefer it this way no peace in our time so everybody that's on trump's side they're ready to they're ready to go to war again so it doesn't it doesn't make a difference to people like us you know we're gonna we're gonna take this to the limit now i'll say this do I think that, uh, you know, the Supreme Court's going to overturn the election results? No, I don't. I'm very realistic, you know. Unlike the left, I'm not emotional. Um, I think it's going to stand, ultimately. But at the very least, it's going to expose corruption and everything that was going on. There's no way that you could tell me that sleepy, creepy Joe Biden got, like, 75 million votes or whatever they're up to right now. And Obama, you know, the, the, the lord and savior of the left, the god of the left, only got, like, 69 million votes. That should tell you something right there. I was completely, completely against the mail-in voting. I knew that something like this was going to happen. It wasn't even a question for me that that voter fraud was going to happen when you when it came to mail-in voting, especially unsolicited mail-in voting, where they just mailed out ballots to people. They didn't even request them. You know, I think we know that ballot harvesting was going to happen. Oh, all of these games. The left, the Democrats, they changed the rules. Not out of the goodness of their hearts and to say, oh, we want more people to vote and everybody to have a chance to vote. No, they changed the rules so they would win. They already knew. They, look, they had a great strategy. They got a great strategy, right? It worked out for them. But that, that's, that's the fact of the matter. That's why they changed the rules. And all this nonsense about, oh, people can't vote in person because of Corona, that was all a front. That was all the front because we see, we saw BL, the BLM movement in the summer. We even see now all these people celebrating in the streets and everything, not even wearing masks thousands and thousands of people but we couldn't vote on election day because people were scared about the coronavirus give me a fucking break give me a fucking break so like i was saying do i think that trump is gonna win no i i don't i don't think that it that it overturned it gets overturned you know i'm, I'm gonna be realistic about it you know i don't want to give people a false sense of hope you know and they're gonna think like oh listen is there a chance? Yeah, there's a chance. And a 10% chance or a 5% chance is better than nothing, right? It's better than not doing anything. And everybody wants Trump to just lay down and die and lay down and take it, right? Absolutely not. He's got to fight and push this thing to the limit. Anybody else would have just laid down and died. Laid down and died and just given up. Because that's, you know, that just to quit and say, oh, yeah, I lost. Or, ah, so what if they might have cheated or there's some irregularities? Ah, you know.
no, just take the L, you know, that's it. We'll just we'll just we'll just go with it. And over the course of these last five years, you know, I couldn't tell you how many people deleted me off of social media. I, I, I lost track how many people. And these are people that I knew for years. Not only did they delete me off of social media, they deleted me in real life. People that I've known for years and years and years and years. Why? Because, oh, you supported Trump. I mean, this is the stupidity. I didn't, I didn't delete anybody off of social media just because they were voting for Hillary Clinton. However they felt, even if they hated Trump, it's irrelevant to me. You feel how you feel. But people deleted me. And the funny thing was, it's like people that know me personally, and I'm like, you know how I feel. You know who I am. You know that I'm unfiltered. You know, I, I, I speak. I speak always from the heart. I'm not a bullshitter. You know, I'm not somebody that just I'm in a room full of people and I'm just going to go along with what they're saying just because I want to be liked. I don't give a fuck. You know, I mean, I listen and, and I'm like I said, I'm fucking real. I've been out. Listen, people have been out in bars with me where I got a girl, you know, and I'm a closer, right? I'm a closer. I'm, I'm, I, I don't choke. OK, so. Everything is fine. I got the girl and then the politics come up and I tell them, sure, yeah, I voted for Trump. Countless times I've had girls scream at me, go fucking crazy. Oh, I walk away and like, then that's it. And you know, because I stand on principle. I'm not a phony. I'm not going to just tell a girl, oh, yo, I'm going for Hillary or, or oh, uh, you know, I don't really know who I'm going to vote for. No, I'm going to, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. And I'm always going to be that. I'm never going to change ever, you know? I'm not like these cowards on, the cowards on the left, you know, that, you know, you got all these cockroaches, all these cockroaches that didn't say anything about creepy Joe Biden, didn't say a goddamn word about him. Then all of a sudden, when the media, you know, the fake news media announces that Biden won, all of a sudden, they're coming out of the woodwork, talking shit about Trump, the supporters, saying how great Biden was. Where were you this whole time? Where were you? You were hiding because you thought that creepy Joe like everybody else, he was actually going to lose. Because in real life, if we had just people coming in and voting, there's no way he was going to win. And if we look at the votes, um, and I might be wrong about this, you know, but I believe that Donald Trump won every single state on the day of the election in in-person voting besides New York and California. That should tell you something right there. That should, that, that, that should be a big indicator of what happened, Okay. So, you know, you got a lot of these cockroaches coming out of the woodwork and all of a sudden, you know, and these, these people are fucking cowards, man. These, especially like these beta males, you know, that's what kills me. You got these guys that I know they're not feminists. I know that, that they don't they don't like immigrants. They don't like Hispanics. They don't like black people. They don't like Muslims. And all of a sudden, like they're they're pro this and pro gay and, and pro immigration they're full of shit they're full of shit they're cowards these people are cowards and they're sneaky a lot of these guys never got any girls their entire life and they want to pull this scam and be sneaky and be like oh well if i co-sign all this feminist these girls will like me and yeah sometimes it works a lot of times they cheat on you know these guys with you know they cheat on these guys with guys like me you know but then ultimately you know they they end up having kids with these fucking losers you know, it is what it is. I don't want to get too, you know, that's that's another story for another video. So look, I've had people delete me. I've had death threats. I've had, I've had, you know, the family members cut me off. Family members that don't, they won't even talk to me. They won't even talk to me because I voted for Trump, you know? Um, and I don't care. I'm not changing. I'm not changing. It's never going to change me, you know? It's, it's not, it's not going to make a difference. I'm not going to change how I feel and I'm not going to be a coward, you know? So I respect the president because he's going hard in the paint. He's just going to keep going and going and going and push it to the limit. Whether he wins or loses, go to the max. Go to the max. But, you know, I've been called all sorts of names. I've been called uh, Tio Tom, uh, Tio, uh, Tio Tomas, right? Like a play on Uncle Tom. I've been called a coconut. I've been called a sellout, you know, and it's all because of identity politics. And, then, you know, I'll make another video on identity politics on how it's absolute horseshit. I don't get I don't fall into that. You know, only only these weak minded people who are mentally enslaved by the Democratic Party, they can't think for themselves. So they have to vote. Oh, if you're a Hispanic and you're a so called person of color, you have to vote Democrat. You have to vote Democrat. And if you feel that way, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. You're a, you can't think for yourself and look at policies. You're a fucking moron. And I'm not telling you to vote Republican. I am telling you, think for yourself. You know, it's funny how Trump was winning all these states, all these states. He was washing Biden, washing him. He was smoking him right off the goddamn map, right? 
Then in the middle of the night, they just stopped counting votes. They just, they paused the election, paused the election as Trump was smoking them. Then I wake up in the morning and Trump is losing all these states. They found hundreds of thousands of mail-in ballots for a sleepy, creepy Joe Biden. Don't you find something wrong with that? Isn't something wrong with that? How all of a sudden they pause the election in the middle of the night. People need common sense, man. Listen, the same people, the same people that were pushing Russian collusion and the Russians interfered, and that's why Trump and all these conspiracy theories, they pushed this, they impeached the president off a of fucking nonsense, off of a phone call. Now they're saying, oh, there's no, there's, why are we, there's no reason to investigate anything. No, no, now, now they're against investigations. Now all of a sudden, these people are, are, are against it investigations do i trust somebody in the basement counting ballots in detroit philadelphia or atlanta are you kidding me are you kidding me all these democratic strongholds all of a sudden it shifted all of a sudden and i knew once they started pushing for voting to be earlier for them to count votes earlier and later i knew some fuckery was going to happen because the longer this thing went it gave them more opportunity to steal the election more opportunity to find biden votes biden biden votes you know what i'm saying so listen at the end of the day listen people really know what happened there's over 70 something million people that voted for donald trump they know what time it is right and they're not gonna let this go don't think that all of a sudden this is just gonna go away and that listen trump is a damn legend trump is a damn legend for what he pulled off he had look what he was up against he was against up against the china virus the China virus he was up against this this year. He was up against the mainstream media. He was up against big tech, okay? He was up against all of sports once that Black Lives Matter garbage started, which it's a false narrative. And you know, I didn't support people deleting me because of that, because of my stance on Black Lives and Black Lives Matter, because I didn't agree with it, you know? I'm not gonna support a domestic terrorist organization. You know, I'm not gonna support a false narrative. I don't care, bottom line. So he was up against all of that, and he barely lost the election, barely, and he, and I don't even think he lost the election, and I think most people know that, you know, and even the people on the, that are the so-called Democrats, they know, they know, they just want to, they, they, they're just upset, you know, that, that people are fighting back, but they know deep down inside that, that some chicanery went on, you know, they know that, that they got, there was a finesse job in this, you know, so that's all, that, that's just my rant, you know, that's just what I think. You know, if you, you know, if you got any comments, negative or positive, feel free to leave them. I, you know, I don't really care. You know, I'm, I'm all about the trolls. You know, I, I've been fighting the trolls for years and it never bothered me. I got thick skin, you know, so that's it. I hope everybody has a great day and uh, the fight's not over.